Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Jodica here, and I'm the generic guy. So, today we're going to be doing a commentary uh, over the game mode uh, in Team Fortress 2 called MVM, which stands for Man vs. Machine. Uh, so, today's discussion is going to be about uh, the two cities of this job, right? Uh, and uh, since the Smithsmith update, it's also like the expert and the advanced missions where you can also find Australians. So, this is going to be a, a talk about uh, the job, how, how I think. Well, my theory is about how the drop rate, uh, rate works in like the two cities and the other uh, MVN tools kind of mission things. Yeah. Uh, so in MVM, there it's a uh, co-op game mode in TF2 where uh, six players, uh, which can be more using a mod, uh, but it isn't legit like using a Valve server, uh, fight against waves of uh, robots, and there are special robots and stuff like that, and the Whole like there's like a whole meta to each type of uh, MVM tool thing, and so basically, uh, at the end you get a loot, and if you use a man up mode uh, tool of duty ticket, you get to get loot and uh, have a chance of getting something decent or good. Uh, those being like bot killers, gold, uh, diamond, blood, stuff like that, and uh, in the end, Australians. Which is what we're talking about today. Uh, so basically, I've had like several theories. Uh, I've had a deep think about how this might work. I mean, it would usually involve Valve, I mean, making money, I guess, and stuff like that. But yeah, before we get into it, uh, the gameplay in the background is a scout gameplay on MVM. Uh, this is me playing Man Up mode. I know I missed like four blocks at the end of this, but yeah, otherwise, everything else is perfect. And uh, I've gotten pretty uh, interested in MVM recently, and I've done quite a lot of uh, Mad Up Mode tours. Uh, currently on my like 30th tour or something in two cities. Not so well, uh, do not doing so well in like the other ones because I was focusing uh, two cities until now since they changed it. Uh, the other ones only need three missions, which means th uh, they only need three tickets, while this one needs four to finish the entire tour. Uh, it's only once you finish in Tour that you get a chance of getting an Australian, so, yeah. Uh, so, basically, my first theory is that uh, there's increased chance for p players uh, with tours below 10. Uh, including 10 as well, 10 inclusive. So, that'll be one tours, 1 to 10. Uh, so, that, that's like at least one drop uh, for every player, on average. Uh, that's a rough guess. Uh, I think that Valve might... Like be doing this just to keep uh, new players interested in playing MVM, which means uh, they'll keep buying tickets and keep playing the mode, a uh, game mode. So uh, people will show off their Australian to their friends, which means more people will be like interested in playing MVM for the chance of uh, getting an Australian. So according to another friend, uh, the chance of getting an Australian is extremely rare, which is like less than unusual apparently. So I only started playing MVM because I thought the Australian rifle, uh, sniper rifle and the rocket launcher looked really cool. So I was like, hey, let's have a shot at it. And uh, here I'll show you several clips of, well, actually there's like two clips uh, where people get Australians under tour, uh, under like 10 tours. Um, so here we have a uh, someone getting an Australian wrench, I think. Yeah, he was one of my friends. Uh, his name is Vertox. I uh, helped him through his first tour, and what do you know, he gets an Australian. And uh, throughout my whole MVM history, I've seen like, I don't know, like five Australian drops. Uh, here's another one where uh, someone gets an Australian extinguisher, and uh, after that, someone getting an uh, another Australian extinguisher in a different tour. Uh, that was pretty crazy. I mean, two people getting Australians in one tour, one mission. Uh, so the other ones I've seen are the Medigon on a 2 tour, and I found an Australian wrench on my 4th tour, and uh, that's like about all I've seen. Like I've heard my, uh, my friends getting them, but I've actually never seen them, they r rarely happen, and so yeah, that is my first theory, that new players, or people with the tour, uh, tours under 10 get increased rate drops. Uh, another one is that... Uh, well, once my friend uh, told me, like, he, he thought that maybe there was a, a high chance of getting Australian between 10.30, I think, 
to 11.30 in the morning, uh, Australian time. I have no idea why, maybe it's like a peak, like a non-peak time or something. So like Valve still makes money during like the non-peak time hours for playing TF2, I guess because like people go to work and stuff like that, or like go to school or something, so there's not a lot of people using their servers, which means they would encourage more people to use them. So uh, that's his theory, and so far, He's been using that for like the last week, and he's already found three Australians. Well, uh, he found a extinguisher, no, in a, a blood sorger, a knife, and a sticky bomb launcher, I think. So that's, that was within an entire week, so I was pretty damn lucky on his behalf. And uh, my final one, I've seen uh, this in a video. I don't know whose video it was. I forgot it was some time ago. But it gave me an idea, and I was like, oh, hmm, that might be correct. And he basically said that a uh, theory that uh, people who spend time with low, low tour people and not kicking anyone uh, has a more likely chance as well to get an Australian. Uh, so this is done to show good sportsmanship or good gamemanship in this case, I guess. And uh, once again, it brings more money for Valve because like uh, new players aren't discouraged as soon as they join a the server. Uh, instead of getting kicked, they actually get to play on and uh, play through the mission. And uh, yeah, I guess Valve would reward the people who do that. So I don't know. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the description below. Uh, those are my three theories that I've thought of. Well, with the help and ideas of other people's videos. So yeah, feel free to uh, tell me what you think in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys. Jardy Co. Signing out.